Hi again and welcome to aquaheat.org.uk. My name's Steve and here we are. This is a short video to tell you about how to replace batteries in your Worcester Bosch uh, DT20 RF. Uh, like we, fit, we fit the Worcester Bosch boilers, this is a 30 SI, but they're all the same, the DT20s, they fit the whole series of SIs, Juniors and CDIs. Now, have got two AA batteries here, which is what you require for your stat, which is in the hallway. First of all, the power's off at the boiler, turn the power on, just switch there. The boiler will come up with a 026, then it goes back to the time, then you get this flashing central heating thing. So, uh, first of all, you press set four times, one, two, three, four, then you press OK once. And that displays. Then you press set again four times. One, two, three, four. Then you got learn off. So we need to put it on. So we press plus. Learn is now on. The antenna is flashing. Then what we need, we've got two minutes now to take our batteries and to the signal to pick itself up from the receiver, which is here in the hallway. This is the receiver here, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. um, that's where the batteries go, they go in here. Nice little drawer. And there's a little symbol that shows which way up they go. That one goes positive, minus, to the bottom. And then this, nice and carefully, just sits up into there. Might have that the other way around. No, that way around. And then that just clicks in. And then you're going to see a display. First of all, it says 30. Then the receiver displays. Then it tells you what the ambient temperature is at the moment, which is 17. But if I, and we've got the flame picture coming on because like, our, it's, it's turned up to 22. So now that is talking to this one here in the kitchen. So now the display you get up here is 551, or SS1. And that will stay like that while these two signals are trying to read each other for about the next minute and then it revert back to normal times. We're going to come back afterwards when it's done that and just to remind you any boilers that we install we leave the instructions in the drop down lid here so everything that I've just explained is in that instructions but probably simpler just to go through what I said and look at the video again. So um, we'll come back in a minute when that is gone is picked up the signal and we can look at that again. Okay thank you. Welcome back again, and uh, so it's now picked up the signal, and you can see here on the display, it's no longer saying 551, it says the time, and we've got our like, selectors once, and then off, and whatever. So now you just set it to whatever you want, whatever you timed it as. So that's how you change the batteries, really. And then if you look at our other video, you can see how to set the program, the, the DC20 RF. Uh, and please subscribe to our how-to videos and you can find out how to pressurise the system and how to set the programs, how to vent radiators and that kind of stuff and best tips for, you know, for in the winter. So, um, yeah, just see our other video and if you'd like information about what we do then drop us an email to info at aquaheats.org.uk. Thanks very much.